Hi, in this lesson, I'll show you how to configure and run data-driven tests with an external database. Currently, for data-driven testing, Catalog Studio supports many databases which use Java Database Connectivity, or JDBC. If you want to use any other one, just need a JDBC driver. You can check the latest updates in the Catalog docs to get the compatible database management systems and Catalog Studio versions. For this demo, I will use Postgres, also known as PostgreSQL. It is a free, open-source relational database management system that emphasizes accessibility and SQL compliance. To set it up, you can go to postgresapp.com, follow the instructions, and learn how to install a Postgres DBMS from there. You can also download and install pgadmin from pgadmin.org slash download to manage your database more easily. You should skip this precondition step if you already have it. Here I've already installed and set up my local Postgres and pgadmin to manage it. Now I'm going to prepare the data table. Go to schema, choose your schema, mine is public, select table. Let's give it a name. Then click on column, add row. I'll fill in some names here. Click save. Next, I'll add values to these columns. Right click on the table, view, edit data, go to all row, Double click on the blanks and fill in the values. Like the previous examples, I will add three cities here Atlanta, Miami, and New York. Then click Save on the toolbar. To check, I'll write a query to get the data from this database. In the query editor, I type in the statement select city expected from db underscore ddt, then hit run button. Here it is, our data table. Now everything seems good, let's head back to Catalan Studio. Go to the data files folder to create test data. I'll name it db underscore 100 cities, following the same format like the previous ones. Select database data for the data type. Then click OK. After the data file is created and opened, select Edit Query. In this database connections and query settings window, we need to configure to connect Catalan Studio with our Postgres database and write the query to get the test data set. First, fill in Postgres for a JDBC driver. Copy the URL symbol below for our PostgreSQL and paste it in the connection URL section. Next, we need to replace the db underscore name and schema components in the sample with the values in our database. Now let's switch to the pgadmin. Here are our database name, Postgre, and the schema public, but let's change that to Catalan Studio. Then type them in our URL sample. Press test connection and it succeeds. Connection successfully. The next thing is to write the query, just like what I did earlier. Select city expected from db underscore ddt. It will find the data according to the query and loaded it. Let's save it. From here, the steps are similar to previous lessons. Create a test suite and add a test case. Then, move on to data binding. Add in our db underscore 100 cities data file and press map all. The first variable has been bound to the city column in the database, which has the same name. Meanwhile, the second variable has not since the column's name is different. I'll do this mapping manually by selecting data column 
for type DB, 100 cities for test data, and expected for value. Save it again and run this test suite. According to the data order, it will run three times with Atlanta, Miami, and New York. And just like the other data sources, when you need to add or change the test data, you just need to do so in a database. You don't need to change anything in the test case or test script. Let's wait for a few seconds until it's finished. Alright, look at the job progress. Everything is almost done. It's repairing the report and uploading it to test off. Our test passed. All the execution details have been noted down here in a log viewer. You can download report to your local computer and send it to others by clicking on the result tab and selecting export report. For example, I will download the HTML report for this test suite execution. You can see our test suite name here and summary information. There are three tests here, which are actually just one test case that ran three times with three different sets of data. In each test case, it displays the summary, status, executed steps, and data binding, which gives you information on which test data is used. To learn more about these kinds of reports, make sure to check out our course, Catalon Studio, how to work with execution logs and test reports. That's the end of our chapter. Now if you've learned to apply data-driven testing with different external data sources, including Excel, CSV, and our databases. Moving on to the next lesson, you will know how to combine data from different sources, check data change before running your data-driven tests, and why you should do these. See you.